As of today, Donald Trump has renounced his oath of office he took seven years ago in January 2017 in the inauguration. He swore an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution, but technically did not use the word support. The act of renouncing an oath only requires that you do so substantively. What that means is, if he says, I never took an oath to support the Constitution, and this is part of a legal question and is entered in the record, even if they recant later, that is legally considered a renunciation of his oath of office. That's it. He's literally renounced his oath of office. One of the few things I know of that can get rid of your U.S. Secret Service coverage and your right to be called a former president is to renounce your oath of office. Very few people in any country do this because you lose too much. 5 U.S.C. 7311 is a reference of 18 U.S.C. 1918. Penalties for violation of oath of office include confinement, a fine, removal from office, and, considering the 14th Amendment and its direct interpretation, which includes the word support, preserve, protect, and defend. By the way, he's ignoring that one. After taking an oath of office to support the Constitution, or, ver or words to that effect, this is on a state-by-state -state basis, which he's ignoring. A person who then engages in insurrection or rebellion or lends aid and comfort. Again, every state adds more to this, not less, Donald. That person is barred from holding office. State-level constitutions will take you renouncing this as evidence to bar you from holding office and, more importantly, being allowed to run for any office. It says office, any form of office. You can't hold any position of trust with, of, by, and for the people giving permission. You're barred. The only disenfranchisement is you personally. To betray a sworn oath of office is a high crime called treason. Renouncing it is a way, normally, to prevent yourself from being executed. This has been done only by a few people, including a former king, to avoid the gallows.